Hi, I'm Dr. Caitlin Keller with Unconstipated Kids, and we are going to help you and your child improve their bowel and bladder health. Step ups are one of my favorite exercises for pelvic work, and that's because if the pelvic floor muscles are overtoned, they're high toned, they're too tight, then that typically means that the surrounding hip musculature is weak. And so when you have a weak muscle, you have a muscle group that tends to compensate. And so oftentimes it's the pelvic floor. So if we want to strengthen the hip muscles, step ups are a great way to do that. So you need some type of stool or a stair, a step in your house. Um, this is a 13 inch step. So for me, this is a great height to work on pelvic stability. And so um, I really like the dots along the top. This particular stool is from Ikea. And, but you can easily use masking tape along the top of the stool. Th those dots are really great for helping kids to align their feet to make sure they're not turning out too much. So you slowly step up. And with the opposite toe you tap, you step back down, and then switch feet. Slowly step up, toe tap, step back down, switch feet. I'm going to go over some things that you want to help your child avoid as they're doing this exercise to make sure that they're getting good quality bang for their buck time in the exercise instead of practicing some not so great techniques. As they step up, turning their foot either too far in or too far out is something that I see in compensation for weak muscles. So using the dots, like I said, on the stool or um, a line of masking tape can help them keep their foot straight. Another thing is a hip drop. So that means that one side of their hip is much lower than the other. You wanna help them to keep their hips parallel, which means that both their left and right hip are the same height at all times. You might see a quick step down as they step down, and that means de decreased eccentric control. Ultimately, you wanna help them have strength going up and down, so emphasize a slow return. You might also see the momentum to press up using a bent knee to help them get up to the stool, that might mean that the stool height is too high for them. You can change the step up to so what we call a lateral step up. That means they're going to be side stepping up the stool. So you're going to have your child stand on the side of the stool and it's the same movement. So they step up, toe tap, down. Step up, toe tap down. And I'm not returning my right foot to the ground, but you can absolutely have them do it to slow down the reps if they start doing this movement too quickly. I'm going through kind of quick right now as I'm doing this. And if you want to help them have some more stability between each time they do it, you can have them return that top foot back down to the floor as well. After your child does both sides, you can have them switch sides. So one rep on one side, step up and do the next rep on the other side. And that makes it a little bit more challenging, more dynamic. They're having to um, change their weight a little bit between each oh, loss of balance there and with a correction. And so it makes it a little, a little bit more difficult. And so this is something that you can do, you layer on top to make the task a little bit more difficult. Stepping over is another way that you can change the stepping up task. It's more functional, which means that it's something that they're doing typically during daily play. And so they step up, they toe tap, and then they step down on the other side. So they're stepping over an object. So you can do this within an obstacle course. They can do this as something that um, functionally they're just stepping over an object, um, but same quality. So you're looking for a neutral rotation through their foot, a slow step up, tap, and a slow step down. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can find us later and help other people find us too.